August 25th, 2015. Good morning, Sabri. I'm Howl Mad Dusty. I'm bringing you the news and the weather and all the stuff that matters today. Starting with the weather. Today's weather. 14 degrees, feels like 12. In the afternoon, 15 degrees, feeling like 15 degrees. Risk of thunderstorm, 70% chance of rain. And in the evening, 15 degrees, feeling like 14 degrees. Overnight, 11 degrees. Wednesday morning, 11 degrees again. And it should be cloudy and a little bit wet throughout all of that. So it's going to be terrible for everybody. But we move on to today's news. A seven-year-old remains in stable but serious condition. Investigation continues after girl struck by vehicle downtown. Greater Sudbury Police reopened Brady Street at about 9 p.m. last night after a seven-year-old girl was struck and injured at the intersection of Brady and Minto Street. The traffic management unit continues the investigation. Police said the seven-year-old girl remains in serious but stable condition. Witnesses to the incident are asked to contact the Greater Sudbury Police Services Traffic Management Unit and uh, their phone number is listed as 705-675-9171. Freight train derails at train yard. No injuries reported and work crews are on site. At approximately 12.15 p.m. on August 24th, a freight train derailed three cars at slow speed at the Sudbury Rail Yard. There were no injuries and no public safety issues. No dangerous goods were involved. Canadian Pacific's emergency protocols were immediately enacted and all safety precautions and measures were being taken as crews responded to the situation. The incident will receive a full investigation. The train yard is pretty cool though and every now and then you see a boxcar kind of rolling toward the other boxcars like they're curling with boxcars or something. It's really neat actually to see a, a lone boxcar just kind of rolling along. Police release info on the man found in Junction Creek. Remember there was a body left town floating around in Junction Creek? They still don't know who he is. And there's still no cause of death determined, police say. So Greater Sudbury Police have released a sketch of the man whose body was found floating around Junction Creek on May 2nd. And I'm just going to try to bring up the picture with my mind. There we go. And while what the man looked like in life is now known, his name and how he died remains unknown. Back on May 2nd, Greater Sudbury Police Services were dispatched to the area of Regent Street and McLeod Street after members of the public located what they believed to be a human body in Junction Creek. The body was recovered and transported to Health Sciences North, where a post-mortem examination was completed. The exam revealed new information, but the news released today, Greater Sudbury Police said, the cause of death is still being investigated while the results of further testing is pending a forensic sketch was completed of the man and that's what you got to see with the assistance of the ontario forensic pathology service police are asking the public to notify them if they believe they know his identity he's described as aboriginal 30 to 48 years old stood five feet five inches and weighed 157 pounds he had long straight black hair a black beard and mustache Brown eyes, no tattoos, only four of his front teeth remained, he was a possible smoker, and his gallbladder had been removed along with his appendix. Uh, that was like, th those were actual things though that, that happened. Police say the man's passing doesn't indicate concern for public safety, and anyone in the community who may believe they know who this person is should contact a criminal investigation unit. I'm Howl Mad Dusty. That was a lot of the news and the weather and stuff happening around Sudbury today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Like, click, subscribe, do all the stuff that makes it so you can watch the show tomorrow.